So you have your ship and the two costumes, and I called the costumes ship and ship thrust because the ship is the first costume, and when its thruster is on, it's the second costume. In the code, when I click the green start button, I'm going to switch costumes to the regular ship. I'm going to make sure it's positioned in the center where I wanted it to start and point in direction 90. So when I hit play, you should see just the regular non-moving one and it'll center it and point it to, uh, you don't have to use these coordinates in this direction. You can use whatever coordinates and direction makes sense for you, but you do need to position it and point it in a direction and set the costume to the one that's not moving. Once you have that, what we're gonna do is respond to the keyboard and we're gonna create what's called a game loop. So under control, we're gonna repeat forever right here. And we're gonna do inside of this, we're going to wait, or not wait, that's a bad word to use because there's, that means something here. We're going to operators. Wow, control, there we go. Looking for the if. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna use the if, and inside of here, I wanna know if the, I'm gonna use WASD, but feel free to use any four keys you want. Well, use WASD or the arrow keys, don't use any keys. Those are the keys that make sense. So here I wanna know if the W key is pressed. So here are the, it's in the sensing area. If a key is pressed, and we don't want space, we want the W key. If W is pressed, then, and what do we want to do in here? I would like to move, and the way we're gonna do that is we're going to move a number of steps, and that is motion, move, I'm going to choose less than 10. I want this to go a little slower. I'm going to move four steps. Now, when I hit play, it should respond to W and it should move four steps while you're holding it down. The reason why it goes while you're holding it down, because this is supposed to loop forever. So every, this probably happens 20 or 30 times a second. It checks that the W key is pressed and moves four steps. You could check out and see what happens if you move one step. And when I hit play, it should reset to the original position. And there's what one step looks like at a time. It's a little bit slow. Two is probably more reasonable. Uh, I think three is where it starts to get more interesting. And any, anywhere between two and eight is probably good. And should restart to the initial position whenever you hit the green button. I do have a, a reset button that you will have to make work. Uh, I'm not going to show you the code for that. You've already done that, uh, but you do need to receive that message, which you've done that before as well. And what that should do when you hit reset, it should do this right here. So it should reset the costume, go to the initial position and point in the initial direction.